I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make sure we go home happy, everybody. Cause there's no reason why your son, who's ever son is out there coming to ship club broke. There's no reason why you should be doing that. So I'm gonna go find a big baller, the shot callers, and I'm bringing them to the booty club. Hey guys, hey, it is Miss B. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to me, welcome back to my life. Be excited about it, take a hey. Okay, anyways, enough, cause I need to get ready. I am running so behind because I'm irresponsible and just, okay. Let me, let me give you guys the tea while I get ready. You ready? Are you ready for the tea, bitch? So I'm going to a club in Jersey, right? I'm going to another club in Jersey because y'all seeing that I'm not working at that new strip club anymore, right? I, that strip club I was working at before. I'm not working there no more. Too much going on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and watch that vlog for reference. But it was just too much going on. Too little money, and I don't have time for that, right? Okay. So, while I was at that club, um, I met a dancer, and she told me about this spot where, during the day, you don't have to pay house fee. So, I'm just like, okay, that's interesting, but at the same time, something like that is kind of a red flag. Um, why is house fee free? You know what I'm saying? Why is it free? What's going on? What's the tea? Is there no money? Because the thing is, I don't care if, other girls say that they don't make money in the club. As long as somebody walks through those doors, there is a chance for opportunity. I just want to know, do people even come during the day? I should have asked her how it was. I believe she was like there all day. Like sometimes what strippers like to do is they like to work day shift and night shift. Like especially when you go, listen, especially if you like a group of strippers and y'all going down to like Miami or Atlanta to work for a couple days or a couple weeks and you're trying to stack up, bitches will be working all day. Like, from start to finish. No sleep, for real. Like, that's how it is when you go to Miami um, on, like, a stripper's trip. I've been on those before where you just go down to other states to hustle with a whole bunch of girls. Um, <laughs> this so it's interesting. I'm happy that I went on them before. They're very interesting, but you just got to be very picky with who you go with because some people are, like, really snakes. Like, you could really get into it bad with bitches. Like, I've heard crazy-ass stories, y'all. I'm just nervous, but at the same time, I don't want to go in there, like, thinking negatively because I know that mindset is everything, and if you're trying to make some coin, you shouldn't be thinking that you're not about to make no coin, but I'm just like, I don't want to waste my time. But we'll try it out. I'm just doing my makeup. I hope you guys can see my nails aren't done, right? And I want to talk about that because there is a story behind my nails not being done. One, I was taking a break. So I was taking a break until my birthday because I thought on my birthday, okay, I'm going to be getting cute or whatever. And I didn't do shit. So I ended up not even getting cute for my birthday. So, you know, like when you go through that phase, which is like, okay, I'm not going to get cute until my birthday because my birthday's coming up and I'm going to just be, you know, regular degla until my birthday. Plus my nails, I felt like they needed to grow you know, stronger, and my nails are so much stronger now, like, you know, they're not peeling and stuff like they were before, and I also wanted to take a break from wigs, for my hair, I feel like I needed my hair to breathe for some time, but at the same time, I felt like I just didn't even need to put an effort when I was working at that club, and I don't necessarily like to work at clubs like that, because as a, as a dancer, when you do those things, you want to feel as beautiful as you can. When you put yourself in this position, make sure you feel as beautiful as you can because sometimes customers can be very nasty to you. And I've had people that were nasty to me, so trust me, it happens to everybody. Um, and you just want to make sure like you feel good about yourself so that if anybody does say anything that's nasty to you, it don't faze you. Some of these girls would just walk in. They would walk into the club not giving a fuck, and then they will also complain about how like they don't feel good the way they look in their outfits or they will compare themselves to the other to like other girls that were more put together put some effort into yourself do your hair do your makeup and you don't have to do anything crazy and i i made a whole video on this before you know i would just i think i was being a little bit more aggressive in that video than i am right now um but you like bitch you gotta get your shit together it's like okay would you want your son's kindergarten teacher to come to work in booty shorts. No, you wouldn't. So as a stripper, you shouldn't be coming to work looking like a kindergarten teacher. 
But if this club is trash, I don't think I'm going to go back because I'm telling y'all, I'm heavy on that $1,000 and up a night type of shit. Like, I don't want to come out my house for little money anymore. I'm not doing that. Way too deep into, into the game to come out of my house to fucking chump change. I don't have time for this shit. I'm finally able to use my bag again. The link for this bag will be in the description box if you're interested. I bought it off of Amazon. So I stopped using this bag when I was at the other club because they don't have a locker room and you have to leave your stuff behind the bar. And I just, you know, you see how it has fur in it. I didn't want any bartenders spilling something on my bag. So I was just like, I'm just not going to use it. I'm going to use the bag that can be thrown into the washing machine if anything were to happen. I'm bringing, like, I need to go shopping for stripper clothes because, bitch, I really don't have that much outfits. I don't have that many outfits since I quit because, one, I threw out my old outfits because I didn't want them anymore anyways. Um, I kept some of them that I felt like were a signature. Like, this piece right here is a signature piece. Of Miss B. This piece, this is the top. This is the bottom. This is the signature piece. I'm also going to bring a dress with me just in case. And this dress is from Pink Cash Intimates. You guys know I wore another one of her outfits before. So it's a dress and it stretches. Like this stuff stretches, okay guys? It stretches, so... You'll be able to fit in it. Like, trust me, these outfits stretch. Who's texting my phone? Ba, 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 ba. I'm loving it. Okay, so I'm at, I, so this past month, let me put my hater blockers back on. This past month, I have been, the month of April, I have been eating so much more healthier. Um, I haven't, been eating fast food like I was before. I don't eat it much at all because like I don't I don't be feeling for it. Like I don't have a taste for it. But I didn't have no time to make breakfast this morning. I didn't have time for that shit. I had a yogurt parfait and I bought a protein snack with me, but I need a motherfucking meal, bitch. So let me go get my double cheese. Let me go get my cheese. They out of sweet and sour. I should have just went and bought my own that I have in my fridge at home. Cause whenever McDonald's gives you extra sauce, you keep that shit. Hey girl, hey, so we are back in the car. I had to just put my hair up real quick because it's hot outside. Um, so I didn't get hired. Let me tell you what happened as soon as I walked in. So I'm walking in, whatever, security. Um, I talked to security. I said, hey, I spoke to somebody yesterday. They told me to come in today for day shift, which is true. I could literally show you guys a phone call. Um, I saw the owner, he pointed him out, and when the owner saw me, he started to walk in the other direction. I'm still talking to security at this point. Now, because security had to look at my ID, whatever, now I'm walking to the owner. Now he's really walking away, and he sees me coming towards him, and he's walking away from me. And then I say, hi, you know, I spoke to somebody yesterday, I told him my name, and then yesterday I told him my name too. And he was like, oh, I was here all day yesterday, you didn't speak to me, we're booked today, bye. Like, he was being very rude and dismissive. I wish I would have recorded it. And let me tell you something. I have no issue with rejection. No issue. But he was being so rude. Like, he was being so rude and dismissive to me. Like, I was, like, beneath him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, honestly, like, I was thinking twice about going back inside and blacking on him. But they have a security, and I'm not trying to get kicked out of no spot or nothing like that. This this club just is just not it's just not for us. So don't come. So if you know about any club near Newark Airport, don't go there. You thought she was gonna stop me, bitch. You thought she was gonna stop me. You thought that you would be able to get in between me and my money. Absolutely not. And that's why I'm here right now, same day. God bless me and what? Shut up. So hey, go hey. I'm on my way to a booty club. This booty club is in New York. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, Tiffany, you are so cute right now. You're so dressed up. You're so extravagant. Why? And now, I'm actually going to this strip club on some, like, new shit. Like, what I'm going to this booty club to do is not simply shake ass. Okay? I'm going to talk about my endeavors another time. You will see what's going on. But this is an opportunity that presented itself to me about, like, 
a week and a half ago and the club told me to come in and I'm about to go in. So I look like this right now. Let me give you a close up of a motherfucking queen. You guys already know where this dress is from. If you watched my previous vlog, I'm gonna put it up here. I'm not gonna tell y'all where this dress is from. You better go watch that video if you wanna know. Let me look in the mirror real quick, like. Okay, girl, yes. It's giving Naomi Campbell, short bitch edition. More like Tyra with the forehead. Miss B, I'm back. Okay, so change of plans. Well, I told you guys that I wasn't coming to this club on the same type of time, and then I'm not. But they still want me to work, so I'm here working. So I'm working on a couple things, and I'm also going to just work as a dancer as well. I'm excited. I don't want to talk about it because you guys will see. Ain't nothing to talk about. When it happens, it happens. But I'm going to be here all freaking night. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard because this club closes at like. I don't know, 6 o'clock in the morning, I think, and it's, is it even 10 o'clock yet? No, it is past 10 o'clock, yes. And the club I was working at before, my shift was two hours long. So that's a big difference. It's time for me to go up, but I feel so much better, y'all. I'm telling you, I feel so much better. And he was talking to me um, about how, like, this club is just a lot more peaceful. Like, there's not a lot of fights and stuff in this club. And y'all know the last club I was at, if y'all saw the vlog, if you sat down for the money count, then you would know what happened and why I left that spot. No, I didn't want to fuck your girl up. Oh my God. I'm so happy, y'all. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. New beginnings and it's May 1st. How are you? I don't mean to put it on your nose, but it's clear. How my baby's running this a block because she fear. What you do to you if you get dirty hands in the near? What you do when she is? Little boy, I'll tell you this. If baby wants to sit, she can sit. to do anything now let me just tell you one thing the good thing about this club is I'll be able to reveal to you guys the location of it you know I don't share clubs that I work at but because I'm coming into this on a different note I'm gonna drop this club you now I'm checking my email because like we had to well, I mean, applying here just it was different than like other clubs in New York usually just come in sign some bullshit ass paperwork and keep pushing but here you have to do like the fingerprint and all that stuff. You don't need no um, dancer's permit like you would in Atlanta. So I got these right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, hey, go ahead. I freaking lied to you guys. I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired. I don't know if I could do this unless like a big bag comes in because that's the only thing that's gonna wake me up is money. He also made me download some app. Um, where we have like a group chat with the dancers. I'm not really a group chat type of girl. I'm not gonna say and hold you. I just joined the group chat because you know he told me to, but I know for a fact I ain't gonna be talking about the goddamn chat. Oh, a bitch is finally going home, y'all. Tired, bitch is tired. What time is it? It is 5.26 in the blood clock morning. I only stayed, cause I was gonna leave that for a day, I only stayed this long because some guy, um, I did two dances with this guy, he's so annoying, so pathetic. And but I'm, okay, so I made a TikTok about being a, a naturalista as a stripper, and one of the people, okay, y'all know this challenge, hold on, I'm show you. I swear to God, on everything I love that happened to me tonight with another black man, it always happens with black men. Self-hate. He was like, what's your background? I said, I'm Guyanese and Grenadian. He was like, 
you're not mixed with anything else? I was like, no. He was like, so why do you look like that? I said, because I'm fucking black. This is what black people look like. What does your mother look like, ho? I hate people like that. Like, if mass said don't fuck you, your mind set up, stay over there with that shit. But over here, we we elevated, we enlightened, and, and we're proud of our blackness. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, go ahead. Okay, so it is the next morning. A couple hours later, I got off of work at like 5.15. I really almost stay there until 6 o'clock in the morning when the club closes. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. But, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to walk into this with a new point of view. So I know, like I told y'all before, yeah, I'm coming to the club late. I ain't working no long shifts. I'm not doing that. No, not with this club. At this club, I feel like you got to come to the club early because... There's a lot of rooms that you can get. I did 10 rooms tonight, 10. I was able to get some customers to like double the room. So like at first they would wanna just go in for 15 minutes, but then after 15 minutes, okay, I wanna go again, I wanna go again. So then I was able to get that. Um, each room you get $50 from. And I did 10 rooms tonight. And then on top of that, customers they also tip I, only one guy tipped me in the room only one guy did so i know for like the future next time i'm gonna see if i could just like kind of push it so guys can also give me tip while i'm also in the room because only one guy did it from the rooms alone i made one two three four four ninety plus twenty is five ten five five ten sorry 510, 520, $530, $535 off of the rooms alone. So, like, it covered my my fee, my ha halfway of my fee of $1,000 for me to leave my motherfucking house. Now, I didn't make no $1,000, but I got another 200 this is $258 in singles. I don't have any rubber bands or anything. I went to my parents' house, so I don't have, like, any clothes, rubber bands. I literally took my makeup off of freaking hand soap. So, $258 plus $535. Where's my motherfucking phone? Because I'm not calculating that number in my head. Ain't no why equals that much plus be another. $258 plus $535. So, I made $793. Like, bitch! It's way better than that bullshit club that I was going to in Jersey. I can get back to finally making the money I deserve. Like this should be red, like seven, eight hundred dollars. This little eight hundred that I just made that that should be regular for me. Like there's no reason why I should be making way less than that. And then I also spent some money just now. I spent twenty one dollars, so I made over eight hundred dollars yesterday. I met a lot of people who watch my videos in in that club. So hey, go hey, shout out to y'all. We gonna make some money. I'm gonna make sure this money brought into that club. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make sure we go home happy, everybody. Cause there's no reason why your son, who's ever son is out there coming to ship club broke. There's no reason why you should be doing that. So I'm gonna go find a big ball of the shot callers and I'm bringing them to the booty club. Cheers to finesse. Hey, go ahead. Welcome to another day of work. There's absolutely nothing the fuck going on right now. Freaking, um, some guy gave me $20 and then I got a couple of sneakers on stage. So I got me a Red Bull. Cause this is the best, y'all. The tropical one, the best Red Bull, y'all. And then I'm eating one of my protein snacks cause I'm serious about, you know, my shape. And I got complimented on my body. So I'm just like, okay, the gym working, y'all. Heavy head. I'm just chilling here right now. I'm just like, God damn. I really pray that it picks up because I don't feel like sitting here, like, bored. This place closes at 6 o'clock in the morning today. I don't feel like sitting here bored. I just want the time to go by fast. Like, the last time I came here, the time was going by fast. Sorry, the music is going crazy. That's why all that shaking in the back. But the time was going by fast because I was busy. Like, I was doing something. I was in rooms or I was on stage or I was talking to customers. I didn't even eat my food that... I bought before I came here, I just wasn't hungry, but now I wanna eat this and I know I'm gonna be starving throughout the rest of the freaking night. I should have ate it. It's in the car, but I don't think I go back on. But I got this top y'all for three dollars and fifty cent. Bitch, what? And what? I got two of them. One of them I got in pink, I paid seven dollars for that one. And then there was an the extra fifty percent off sale when I went back to the store way later, then I found this one and I got it. Three dollars and fifty cent off. Just tell me why my neighbor, my neighbor. Let me cover this, because I don't want y'all knowing what's how. 
My neighbor was a, not a neighbor in Jersey, but somebody that um, I met in my hometown. And I met this man when I was 18 years old. He's been trying to get at me since I was 18. So we could throw that out there. And he, I think when I met him, was 36. Um, and he's just so corny, like. First of all, he came there and he was totally plastered. And it's, I, I'm always like bumping into him. So I'm just like, damn, it's crazy that I seen him at this club. I said, plaster. Like, who the fuck do I think I am? He was wicked wasted, y'all. But I'm just like, what the fuck? And then he was talking all this raw in my ear and stuff. I'm just like, sir, I literally see you with a new woman, a different woman, every single time I come back to my hometown. If I see him driving in his car while I'm taking a walk around my hometown, he's with another woman. If I pass his house, there's another woman entering his house. So for all you women out there that are talking to this man, Okay, all up in everybody's fucking face. Disgusting. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know why he feeling himself. So it was just so weird because, like, okay, so when I first met him, it was like he was doing really good for himself. Like, he owns a home, and for him to own a home out here, and he's so young, like, I'm like, okay, he has to have some type of money to his name. But God knows, um, because I, he told me that, like, he was born into money. Like, his dad is, like, a surgeon or something like that, so... Daddy could have bought that. His father could have bought that house. But with him, because it just seems like he fell off. Like, he, his, his jewelry looked very fake. One. I like, I mean, bitch, let me just not, I ain't got no jewelry, but I could spot a, a freaking fake chain. Like, that shit look fake as hell. And then, like, when I first met him, he had sports cars. I'm not talking about no regular, degular shit he had the sports cars the stuff that you see in the music videos and stuff that people rent when they're in miami like he was with that but now i guess life humbled him and whatever the case may be or you know being a homeowner it's stressful but i'm just like so you over here acting like you want all this money but you don't so just just relax well figure your life the fuck out you know what i'm saying figure it out you shouldn't be drinking right now if you got financial issues it's not gonna help you I'm going off on this man who doesn't even fucking matter, but I just want to talk shit about my neighbor. Because, hey, but hey, she never came to the club. But he didn't spend no money, but he want to be on everybody's face. Everybody's face. He want to be on everybody's face. And then when I walk away from him, he started talking to some other girl and was all up in her face. So next time I see him at his house with a woman, I'll be like, yeah, you're a man, bitch. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say that, but I fucking should want a bitch. They probably know already. Ho. Yo. My bad. I've always been so disrespectful towards myself. But anyway, this is me. So yesterday I came, right? And tell me why when I got here, I realized I didn't even have my money on me. So I took that as a sign to go back home and stay home. Okay. So I do like this method now where I put the concealer first and then the foundation after because I feel like it just looks better. It's Mother's Day, by the way. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Okay, I'm not a mother. I don't even have a pet. I'm just lonely. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm the loneliest person that I ever met in my entire life. Like, I know how to be by myself. I know how to just entertain myself because, like, I don't have a choice. I don't have a group of friends. I don't, I just have my sisters. I have my family. Hey, go ahead. So tonight's outfit is from Pink Cash Intimates. Shout out to my girl for sending it to me. Cause I never wore something like this. At least not in the club. I'll wear it at home. It's white. I'm afraid of white. I'm a messy bitch. I got a whole bunch of... What happened? That niggas are dirty. Yeah, niggas are dirty. Exactly. I'm a messy bitch and these niggas are dirty. 
I got all my feathers for my shoe all over the damn dress. Hey guys, hey, so this is the look for the night. I wish I could show you guys, but I can't because there's children on YouTube and they don't let us post shit anymore. <laughs> Some money, these guys wanted more than what we could offer. Heck yeah. And they're nasty. Yes, <laughs> you just take their money. Hello, that's I my name. Like, like, like he spoke French, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. We oui, we. Oui. <laughs> Um, I said, like, do you need like any guests? Like, I can't be the only girl dance for all of you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they was I here all night being annoying. Involved, you feel me? Being ridiculous. Yeah, right. It was disgusting. How beautiful are they, guys? Hey, <laughs> Money, 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 money! <laughs> Period. What's your Instagram name? I'm Kiva Patra. I'm Malay, the MVP. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna do some um, TikTok too. Four dollars. Yeah. Four dollars. <laughs> Just split between all of those. Okay, so I take like my top row. Yeah. Sixty each so far. Oh, I don't even know what that is. You can just pass me whatever's mine. That's eight, eight, eight. Yeah. So sixty-eight. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, they were sitting around my hundreds. Yeah. But they want, they want happy ending.